you know that crystalline solids have regular arrangement of constituent particles. And you know what? This pattern repeats itself throughout the crystal structure. A portion of this arrangement of particles in a three dimension can be beautifully represented by this particular diagram. Each particle of the solid is depicted as a point in the figure. This regular three dimensional arrangement of points in a space, we call it as crystal lattice. So only 14 possible three dimensional lattices are present. They are called as Bravis lattices. These crystal lattices has certain characteristics and the each point in a lattice is called as lattice point or lattice site. Each point in a crystal lattice that represents one constituent particle which may be an atom, molecule or it can be group of atoms or ions. Lattice points are joined by straight lines to bring out the geometry of the lattice. A smallest portion of crystal lattice if repeated in different directions entire crystal lattice can be regenerated. The smallest portion which is repeated itself is the unit cell. So in simple unit cell can be described as the smallest portion of the crystal lattice. And the unit cell has dimensions along the three edges A, B and C. These edges may or may not be mutually perpendicular. The angle between the edges between the edge B and C is termed as alpha and the angle is beta between the edges A and C. Angle is gamma between the edges A and B. Thus, a unit cell is characterized by six parameters, the edges A, B, C and the angles alpha, beta and gamma. These unit cells are classified into two types. They are primitive unit cells and centered unit cells. When constituent particles are present only on the corner position of unit cell, it is known as the primitive unit cell. But along with these particles at the corner position, if the particles are present at other positions, then they are known as centered unit cells. Based on the position of the atoms other than at the corner position, the centered unit cells are classified into three types. They are body centered unit cell, face centered unit cell and end centered unit cells. When a unit cell contains one constituent particles, it can be atom, molecule or ion at its body centers other than those present at the corners, it is known as body centered unit cell. Whereas if the constituent particle is present at center of each faces other than those particles present at the corners, then those unit cells are known as face centered unit cells. Whereas if this particular constituent particle which is present at center of any two opposite faces other than those particles present at the corners, then that particular centered unit cell is known as end centered unit cells. There are seven types of primitive unit cells. They are cubic, tetragonal, orthorhombic, monoclinic, triclinic, hexagonal and rhombohedral. We shall discuss about the edge length and axial angles with examples for each type of the primitive unit cells. These seven primitive unit cells in combination with different centered unit cells give us 14 different types of crystal lattices. As already mentioned, these 14 crystal lattices are called as Bravis lattices. In 14 Bravis lattices, we have three cubic lattices, we have two tetragonal lattices, we have four orthorhombic lattices and we have two monoclinic lattices. Along with this, we have triclinic, hexagonal and rhombohedral lattices. Altogether, we have 14 different crystal lattices.